Hey, what's happening, hottie? Welcome back to Pikmin Randomizer. My name is Attacking Toucans, and today we're going to be dropping into the third level of the game, the Forest Naval. <laughs> now, when I was a kid, I thought a naval was some sort of, like, army, navy, like, military base, <laughs> and did not know that it was a belly button. And then whenever I found out that naval meant belly button, I felt like the dumbest child in the world. Okay, I was actually 22 when I found out. <laughs> Don't attack me, please. But yeah, if this level is based off of a belly button, it's definitely an Audi, because this whole entire thing just kind of like builds up. Okay, so I wonder what the randomization has for us in this level. One of the things we're about to get is a blue Pikmin. Go ahead and finish the trifecta. Gonna pull out some of the Rojos, so we can go get some of the Ojos. Come on guys, so this level is pretty interesting. There's a lot of different levels, and there's a lot of walls that you're able to break with bombs. But overall, most of the walls you don't actually need to break down, like it's not necessary. They just kind of like save you time, but you don't really need to save too much time here. Oh, we got tadpoles. Yeah, we probably shouldn't try to kill them with the red Pikmin. The tadpoles are a little bit all over the place. All right, blue onion. Here it is. Honestly, it has to be said, the water in this game also looks really nice. For some reason, I never really noticed, but like when you get really close, that's a really good texture for water. So this bug lived in the water and it ended up drowning to death <laughs> somehow. Interesting. Okay, they're carrying that back. Good stuff. I'm going to explore a tiny bit and just see what we have in front of us. Got some bull borbs, some fiery blowhogs. This guy right here is actually called a Mamuta. I said the name wrong last episode. And these are actually the moms of the Smoky Progs. That weird, like, smog boss fight we did last episode. Okay, overall, it doesn't seem like this is going to be too difficult. There's just a lot of enemies in here. I don't need to clear all of them out. Oh, we have a swooping snitch bug over here. Now, it looks like a majority of these enemies are different. A few of them are still the same. But it looks like there's quite a bit of change. All right, well, let's, let's start getting some blues. Oh, look. A bunch of female sheer grubs. These are perfect to raise up the blue populations. Which, we have quite a few over here already. This little guy put it in his work. No, what are you guys doing? Don't come over here! What? Are you guys trying to get yourselves killed? Excuse me, guys! No! <laughs> Cutscene, this isn't the time. We have... Children dying. <laughs> Jesus. The automatic gear has thin cracks running through it. I try to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. You know, that's one way to fix something, I guess. I guess Olimar doesn't know about flex tape. His loss. Okay, let's see if we can kill. Do I even want to try to kill the tadpoles? Not really. That would, like, take more time than what it's worth. Whoa, where did this guy come from? We have a swooping stitch bug that just came from nowhere. <laughs> Sir, can I help you? Do you need something? Well, he fell up on the ledge. Okay, I'm not gonna throw my Pikmin up there. That's too dangerous. Hey, where did this red Pikmin come from? You know what? I don't even care. We have like 300 red Pikmin. <laughs> I should care, but for some reason I'm having trouble caring. Okay, we have a decent amount of number in the blue battalion. Whoa, stay away from the edge. Um, oh, this is an easy piece right down here. Oh, wait, we have to get rid of this gate. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start carrying this piece back down here, and then we'll have the reds take down the gate. I think we also have some bombs down here as well, yes. The bombs on this level are, like, a lot more difficult to get to than they are in the Forest of Hope. Number one, Ionium Jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous gas, and if it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant, the stench is a small price to pay for such performance. The stench. We don't want to know anything about the stench, Olimar. Shortcut? Oh no. Some of these little things that look like pores on the ground, they're just like little geysers. If you have some Pikmin like knock the top off, you can blast yourself up the ledge and save a little bit of time. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed your rest, but it is time to get back to work. Start knocking this down. I don't know why these Pikmin just like circle around right here, because they could totally walk around and still get up there if they really wanted to. Oh no. Oh no. He's coming for us. Don't let him do it. Don't let him. Don't let him get away. He's gonna start flying. Yeah. So 
what I thought. Nobody tries to mess with the click. The bridge goes down pretty fast because the reds are the strongest out there. Oops. Okay, we still have enough. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them up. I'm gonna have the blues carry all the spoils back over here so they can continue gaining the numbers. Because we need them to be strong. Blues become very, very important, especially in the next level, because it's pretty much a full water level. Oh god, they're walking around the long way. Why are they running around that way? Is this way safe? I hope so. It looks like it. It should be, but also randomizers. I see a fire geyser, but they shouldn't walk through that. I have to actually, like, watch them. Dang it. <laughs> okay, swooping snitch bug might be something to worry about, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. Come up here. I'm not sure if this enemy has, like, any limitations or boundaries to where he's able to go. Seems like he's able to just fly, like, anywhere he wants. Which is pretty cool, actually. I like when enemies have the ability to just, like, wander around like that. Alright, we got it. What is this? What does this even look like? Oh, the ship has an ear. Nice. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits, so I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. Popping off out here. Okay, now we're going to grab some yellows while we're waiting for them to carry all the bugs back. And we're going to go ahead and get some bombs and start blowing some stuff up. Because that'll save us some more time for the next day when we come back here. Now, after today, we're actually going to go back to the impact site for one day. Because there's one ship piece there. Come on, everyone get down. Let's go ahead and build the stick up. Yeah, we're going to go back to the impact site because there's one more piece there. And we'll be able to actually raise a lot. Because it's a really small level, but it's really, like, packed with things to take back to the onion. Okay, so it's really interesting how you get bombs from here. I'm gonna teach you how to do this in case you're new to Pikmin because yellow Pikmin and bombs are very finicky and very risky and you can easily lose your whole entire battalion if you accidentally have one of these bombs explode at the wrong time. So, even if they're holding bombs, they can climb up things just like that. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. This is where people will make the mistake a lot of the time. So when you get the yellow Pikmin up here, you have to make sure not to whistle them. If you whistle them, they will drop their bombs and explode. It's just best to never whistle a Pikmin holding a bomb. That's just kind of like a good rule of thumb to follow. Okay, all the Pikmin have been acquired. I'm trying to decide which things I want to open because we don't have that many bombs. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to go open is actually down here off to the side careful to navigate all these fire geysers okay. okay it's this one right here we're gonna knock this down this is like a really strong wall even though it's one you can knock down with your pikmin okay that took five bombs and it wasn't even a rock wall oh my god ah not a good place for you bruh come on are you really trying to eat pikmin holding bombs is that the brightest decision you've ever had okay let's go throw all the ones bombs and then Make a run for it. This guy's bothering me. We gotta go get the rest of the blue Pikmin. Oh my god, okay. Uh, gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. But I'm glad I knocked down both of those walls because that will open up our first boss fight, which we'll be able to do next time we come here. Okay, that yellow Pikmin's getting screwed because I'm not gonna risk my Pikmin dying because of one little guy that decided to follow an iridescent flint beetle. Okay, blues, please all come with me. Please all come with me. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. I don't really know how this works. Quite a few are gonna die, I think. Wait, how many are- Oh wait, don't, don't! Oh, I like just- oh, oh, I almost just lost all of them. I was trying to press Y to see my map to see how many Pikmin weren't with us. And I pressed X on accident and almost left all of my Pikmin behind. That would have been like the biggest waste of time. Would have had to like reset and not save the day. But I think a decent amount might have died because quite a few were by themselves. Oh, just three. Oh my gosh, one of each color actually kind of perfect in a really messed up kind of way deep within the forest navel there are even stranger creatures wandering around than i have ever encountered but as long as i'm with the pikmin i have nothing to fear true that pikmin got our backs all right we sprouted almost 500 pikmin are you kidding me <laughs> freaking baby boomers out here all right, so like I said, we're going to go back to the impact site to raise our blue numbers. It's best to just do this now because if we went back to the forest navel and just try to fight all the enemies, eventually when we go back to the impact site, it will like allow them to have an extra day to respawn. So it's best to just get it all out of the way now. 
As you see, there's three big pellets up there waiting for us, a big 20 pellet. We don't need this many Pikmin, but we're gonna get them. All right, so there's gonna be a lot more stuff randomized in this level today because when you come back a second time, they just like kind of fill it up way more than when you come here your first time. We're gonna start off with some yellow Pikmin to get some bomb rocks. Gotta be careful though, I'm not sure <laughs> really what's happening. Female Sheer Grub. Not worried about that in the slightest. So, hello, Air doesn't flip it. You know what? I kind of want to mess you up. I feel like messing you up. Actually, no, I don't. I have yellow Pikmin. They take way too long to throw through the air. <laughs> it's like playing dodgeball and playing with those like little cushy balls that have like no density to them. So much harder to throw quickly. Okay, so hopefully there's like no crazy mini boss or anything that's gonna appear right now. And you come like past day 11 and 12, they add in some like weird mini bosses. Whoa, we have a puff stool in there. A smoky prog, another one! Come on, man! <laughs> smoky prog in the impact site? Next to a puff shroom? <laughs> it's like... Wait, there's two puff shrooms? What's going on? <laughs> Which one of them have the, the shit piece? The puff shroom has it. The smoky prog is gonna mess our stuff up though. But we have a few bombs, so... We'll try to use them to damage him. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Alright, troops. I believe in you. You guys got this. Space out. Oh, only one through the bomb. Oh, it didn't even do anything. He just dropped it. The AI of Pikmin in this game are kind of interesting. When they have bombs, like, they will run back and throw it. It's pretty interesting how they act. And this ain't doing shit, bruh. Can I get in here and just like knock this down a little bit? Oh, I threw him over the gate. Holy crap. <laughs> Olimar got an arm. All right, I'm thinking we go in guns a blazing <laughs> and hope hope for the best. Hopefully all of our Pikmin don't get run over. Is he stuck in here? How come he's not leaving this little, this little area? Doesn't seem to want to leave it. <laughs> he doesn't mind the haters. He just shakes them off. He's a Taylor Swift stan. Oof. No, don't fall on his butt, dude. How come this butt just like murders them so fast? How toxic is that gas? I don't want to freaking know. It's so hard not to have Pikmin die to this guy, though. <laughs> it's okay, though. We're going to get 100 Pikmin from killing him. Remember that. And we're going to give that to, to the blue Pikmin because we need a lot more blue Pikmin. But it's actually really great that we found this guy here because the blues are going to be rejoicing. They're going to have so many more family members. It's going to be the best. The family reunions are gonna get way more lit. Oh my god. Okay, we've lost like half of the reds. I'm sorry, reds. You're gonna have a very, very sad day. You're probably, they're probably gonna want to end up protesting after this. <laughs> because I am not treating them with dignity in the slightest. Olimar's gone full sociopathic when fighting the Smoky Progs. Kill all these little guys. <laughs> so like guarding the onion, not good. Can use like an extra 30, 30 blue Pikmin. Why not? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting because my my let's plays. No, no, no! They stole it from themselves. I mean, to be fair, the Reds did deserve it because they are the ones who killed the Smoky Prog and lost all those lives. But still, we need a blue Pikmin more than anything. Okay, whatever. We're gonna be getting more blue Pikmin from these puff stools, I guess. Whatever. Okay, let's get a good hit on him. Just best to pull the Pikmin off sooner than later so he doesn't flip over and spray them all. Look at his little wiggly legs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull back, pull back. Better safe than sorry. We're gonna go in for the kill right now. Get him, boys. Make so many bouncy noises. Oh, what is this? The Positron Generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Okay, Olimar's getting in with uh, some of the solar energy. We stand extraterrestrial green energy. <laughs> Come on, what's going on right here? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're two Pikmin short. This is a very awkward exchange. This mushroom is like plowing the solar energy panel. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to go all the way around because we're two Pikmin short. 
Of course. Ooh, look at all this nectar. Let's go ahead and drink it all. Get a bunch of flower boys. Tyler, the creator, would definitely approve. Come on, all you little whippersnappers. The little youngins. Welcome to the world. Are you ready to battle? Oh my gosh, the mushroom made it past. I'm so proud. All right, we're looking pretty good. About to break 500 Pikmin. I say we could break 500 Pikmin before we leave this level. We have a decent amount of time. So let's go ahead and wipe everything out. Let's go ahead and ravage and loot everything else, man. Nine out of 30 parts, almost a third of the way there. This game goes by pretty quickly. Pikmin 1 isn't a very long game. It's one of the reasons I like Pikmin 1 actually, is it has a lot more replay value because it's not super long. Pikmin 2 is like more fun in general, but since it's so long, the replay value isn't quite as there because it just takes so long to get through the game. I see you guys over here hiding. You can't hide from all them are. He sees everything. He's omniscient. How dare you try to escape? All right, I think we're about to break 500 Pikmin. Let's watch it happen. Ooh, half a thousand. That's what I'm talking about. Total Pikmin domination coming soon. All right, well, I think we are officially done here. We have over 500, so I'm not gonna stick around and get any more. We already have like way more Pikmin than we'll ever need. It's cool seeing all the Pikmin get into all three of their onions respectively. I remember when I first got the blue Pikmin, it was actually like a big deal for me. This game is really hard when you're a child, just saying. But your first time you play Pikmin, you will struggle. <laughs> and it's a pretty sad experience because you'll experience a lot of Pikmin deaths. All right, learning about the, the life cycle of a Pikmin. We spread a 201 today, that's insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the forest navel. And we're just gonna kill quite a few enemies here and try to get a few more pieces but mostly try to kill a lot of enemies because there's a lot of enemies in the way. And I'm ready to ravage. Seriously, look at these bulb orbs. They a little thick, they a little thick. They stick it up in the air. Whoa, back up, we gotta land on his head. There you go, got a crunch, a good crunch. So let's just start off with 100 reds and just go kill a lot of stuff to start off with. And then we'll come back and start making some actual progress. Look at how dramatic these dwarf bulborbs die. Look at their mouths. So dramatic. All you did was die. Stop overreacting. Whoa, this level got a lot more dangerous. Gee whiz. Okay. I'm gonna try to kill this guy as fast as possible. I think a swarm is actually gonna do us better here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we wanna stay away from these bull bears which are the black ones because they will wake up very easily and they will eat your pikmin way faster than the regular bull borbs okay. when you have a hundred pikmin you're able to kill stuff so fast feels so good i'm gonna go ahead and just break this gate down real fast all right so as we're doing chores i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the comment question of the day which last episode i asked if you were to give a personality type to each pikmin color what would they be uh, Frosting Orb said the red would be the brave ones, makes sense. Yellow, the smart ones, and blue would be the thirsty ones. Okay, so I guess I'm a blue Pikmin. All right. Oh wait, but here it says red Pikmin are definitely hoes. They're brave and hoish. Okay. Yellow Pikmin are pretty quiet and usually listen instead of contributing to conversations. It's respectable, respectable. And blue Pikmin are pretty stupid and need a lot of assistance. <laughs> oh, poor blue Pikmin. <laughs> we love you though. Prince of Pooh said, Reds are crazy daredevils who love to party and always get into trouble. They're always looking for a thrill. Not very bright. Can totally see that. They're definitely like chads. <laughs> Yellow are chill nerds who probably know more about obscure and sometimes creepy things than they probably should. Blues are shy but athletic. Shows their passion through sports and their enthusiasm. Can be surprising. And then we have some more colors from Prince of Pooh. Even though these colors aren't in the game, I like these answers. So purples are junkies, spend way too much time eating snack foods, and we get way too into social media too, but they're chill. Whites are like the goth kids, they're morbid and quiet. Rocks are dependable, love to work outside, whatever the equivalent of farming or construction work. And wings Pikmin are flighty and flaky, not dependable in the slightest, and live by the best of their own drum and no one else's. A bit of a trendsetter. 
<laughs> and I like this answer as well, because this is actually probably the most realistic based off of like how they act in the game. It says, Reds always have been straight up barbarians. Yellows seem more curious as they often are spotted on top ledges and trees. And blue Pikmin don't appear to have much of a personality. They're just kind of bland, just kind of quiet, just kind of doing their thing. But yeah, it's kind of fun to analyze like what type of personalities they would have. No! <gasps> What did it happen? The Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece in my battleship to ever fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. So it's like a spaceship rudder, I guess. We lost a, quite a few Pikmin on that last Wally Wog jump, but after how many enemies we just killed with like no deaths, I can't really complain too much. Damn, 50 Pikmin to carry this back? Really need that many guys? Do I even like want to carry all these corpses back? Like we have so many Pikmin. And I guess I might as well, huh? Doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Oh wait, they're going the dangerous way. Let's make sure to clear this out for them or else they're gonna get chomped real hard. Hey guys, let's go ahead and kill all the dumples. For some reason, dumples remind me of dumplings and now I want dumplings. <laughs> Why does that sound so delicious? No way. Are you kidding me? The boss fight for in this little area is the Emperor Bulblax? That's difficult. I'm not sure if I can do that right now. We're gonna have to go get a lot of bomb rocks to prepare for that. Okay, well, I'm gonna save that for a later time. I think today we're just gonna focus on just some easier things. We definitely cleared a lot of enemies out of here though. It's like a wasteland. I almost feel like a little bit bad. But at the same time, they kind of deserve it. And have these yellows start building this bridge up here. Because we have some bomb rocks back here we want to try to gain access to. And if we come back with some blue Pikmin, we should be able to get this piece today if we move quickly. All the reds are killing it out here. We totally see you guys putting in this work. We brought this thing back up. Oh, yeah, this is our fourth little rudder for our ship down here. So I definitely see how that helps us steer straight. Makes a huge difference. Nice, got some of that radial symmetry going on. Feels good. So the dolphin fin. With this, I should be able to fly again, even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Oh yeah, so that's something interesting to add, is you don't actually have to get all 30 ship pieces to beat the game. There's like six or seven optional pieces in the game, which I think is a kind of interesting choice, but that's what they went ahead and did. Because of this, you can technically end up beating the game without actually beating the final boss if you don't want to. But there's different endings. There's like the bad ending, the good ending, and then like the really good ending. So if you want to get like the best ending, then you have to get all the pieces. But if you just start trying to beat the game, all you have to do is get the required shit pieces and the 30 day time limit. Which to me is like the easiest thing ever, but to some people they consider that to be super difficult. It's like, beating Pikmin in the 30 day time limit is one of those things where like the very first time you play Pikmin, that can be pretty hard, and it's also pretty stressful. But the more times you play the game, the more you just kind of like get used to the time limit, you know where the pieces are, you know how to kill the enemies. So it's like one of those games where it's like if you can't do it in the first 30 day cycle, you're just supposed to start over and try again with the knowledge that you have. Which you should be able to do it within your second time through. It does get, it does get easier. Just like the LGBT movement, <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Alright, we have 67 blues. Not nearly as strong as 100 reds, but it should still come in handy. Should be able to make some decent progress with this. We don't really have too many pieces. We have one bull bear, which actually might be kind of hard to kill. Here, I think I might actually use bombs instead. So let's go ahead and just carry some of this stuff back. I'm just going to keep on raising the some Pikmin numbers. Oh shit. Fire geyser. Not good. Not good. <laughs> okay, maybe we shouldn't do this. Didn't really plan that one through very well. All of you guys, stop. I'm not gonna carry these back. <laughs> Made a mistake. Let's carry something else instead. <laughs> I'm wasting time. Definitely wasting time. Let's go ahead and like, just place you guys there for a second. The gravity jumper. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to super light speed. That's really cool. Hot quotations are very ahead of their time. That's for sure. They have a lot of great technology. So this other bridge back here, it's not really important to build this up. It can save you a little bit of time, 
but I like, typically like to just get the bombs and then throw the yellow Pikmin up like I do in the other area. I forget how many bombs are back in this pipe. Oh my god, I get it! It's a pipe bomb! <laughs> Reminds me of Harry Potter Puppet Pals. I found the source of the ticking! It was a pipe bomb! Yay! <laughs> right, old yellers, come on. Got the scurvy. Ready to do some bomb tossing. Okay, what gateway do we want to open up? I guess this one. This might take nine bombs to break, if I remember correctly. Oh! Oops. <laughs> that could have gone better. I'm just trying to break it fast, man. There we go. That's going to save a lot of time. Here, we'll make it up for you guys. and <laughs> Give you a couple yellow pellets to take back to your friends. Still can't believe the Emperor Bullblax is back there. I think that's the only boss fight on this level. There's like two boss fights in the Forest of Hope. Oh my god, I thought this guy was alive for a second because he was like bobbing up and down. Oh god, move faster guys. 10 seconds. Where's the spring at? They're almost here. You guys got it, you guys got it. They do it, they have four seconds. Oh, they totally got it. These Pikmin are speedy Gonzaleses, man. Got nothing to worry about. The anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through the stars like a dolphin. <laughs> One more piece and we unlock the next level, which is gonna be the distant spring. Am I safe? We got them all? Oh no, there's one back. <gasps> no! Oh, a yellow's gonna die. <laughs> I feel so bad. The yellows are getting a pretty short end of the stick on this randomizer. <gasps> Crunch. <laughs> he didn't die in vain. Or maybe he did, I don't know. Oh, horrors! A bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin. <sighs> yeah, about that. <laughs> Teaches you how to treat Pikmin with bomb rocks after you have like a massacre and <laughs> kill a bunch of Pikmin with a bomb rock on accident. Appropriate timing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save here, and I think this is gonna be the end of the episode since we got three days in today. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to also subscribe so you get notified when I post more videos. Anyways, you guys take it easy and stay safe out there. Peace.